See, that's that's not what I anticipated coming out of here. I mean, this is amazing. Look at this. Guten yarding, everybody. Well, you can almost feel that chill in the air. It's overcast, another windy day out here in fall. And tonight, the temperature is going to drop to 26 degrees, which is about three degrees Celsius below zero. And so we need to come out here and harvest off some of what's left of our potatoes. And so we're gonna take a look at what came out of what we planted three months ago for 99 cents. So initially we had carrots planted in here and we harvested those carrots just over three months ago. And at the time we really wanted to put some more potatoes in the ground, but we couldn't find seed potatoes anywhere. So we did what we hoped was the next best thing, which was to go to the store and look for some organic potatoes. And the only organic potatoes we could find at the store we went to were fingerling potatoes. And those organic fingerling potatoes were old and already starting to form eyes, even at the store. So I brought it to the front register and I said to the person there, are you, uh, are you still selling these? They, they kind of look a little bit old. And they were $5 for one pound. The person at the register said to me, well, we're not really supposed to sell them since they're past their use by date, but if you'd like to take them, we'll give them to you for 99 cents. So we have two containers of fingerling potatoes, organic fingerling potatoes purchased at the store for 99 cents. And we're about to see what that 99 cents turned into. You've got to see this. All right, so I already know we're going to have some sort of harvest because popping through the soil, we have some fingerling potatoes. This one clearly got exposed to the light of day, as did these. So we did come back through and try to cover up with a little bit of hay for mulch. I think we were a little late on these. But that being said, let's see exactly what's in here. <laughs> okay, I know for a fact, I just left a whole bunch in the ground. So now's when the digging starts. We're gonna try to keep track and see just how much weight we get out of here. But look at the size of these. That's, that's beautiful, that's a nice fingerling potato. And again, these have been in the ground for just over three months. Can these, can, can we quantify these as fingerling potatoes anymore? My goodness. These are huge. Um, that's, that's not what I anticipated coming out of here. I mean, this is amazing. Look at this. <laughs> this has to be off of one plant. Uh, okay, uh, if, if you watched our initial carrot harvest video, you'll know that this is actually a white plastic container. It's food safe plastic, uh, but we decided to cover it up to try to store in extra heat since we were growing the potatoes in here. We also wanted to block out any additional sunlight. And I mean, maybe it's saying thank you. Look at these. These are gigantic. These are like people. <laughs> this is awesome. I, I, I mean, I, I saw some of these at the surface, but I did not expect anything this size to come out of here. This is, this is just a super awesome harvest so far. I mean, our return on investment, we're, we're past the return on investment here has to return on 99 cents. Come on. Wow. I don't know. Is it trying to move back to the top in terms of my favorite type of harvest? It's like a back and forth between potatoes and sweet potatoes. And this is just so exciting to see. So, I mean, what can my recommendation be? You want a second crop? <laughs> Maybe look for some nice organic potatoes at the store, some organic fingerling potatoes. My, dude, this looks to be the seed potato 
Look at that. It didn't fully dissolve like some of them do. I've got so many of these, I've got to pause and I've got to get a container for these. I really didn't expect this much. All right, this is what we've already harvested down here. And now we're gonna come and continue <laughs> with more gigantic potatoes. One of our YouTube gardener friends said to us recently in a comment, oh, wow, if you're not making mistakes and learning, are you really gardening? And I would say that this crop right here is a direct result. Oh, here, let's, I'm gonna pause my thought and say this to you. This is the seed potato. You can clearly see this is the seed potato here. Everything else is coming out from it. All the other tubers came from this potato for this uh, particular set. Uh, but I would say this crop is a direct result of what we learned from earlier in the season with our other potatoes in containers because we didn't have the success we wanted to. And here, I mean, this success, I, I, I guarantee you is directly related to our handling of watering and our handling of fertilizing. This mass of potatoes comes from five fingerling potatoes that we planted. That's it. Five fingerling potatoes and I don't think I've got, no, I haven't gotten them all because there's the one I was looking forward to the most. <laughs> this purple potato. Oh, I was hoping we would have some of these. I don't know if there are any more down there, but look at that. It's so beautiful. And that's one of the cool things about the fingerling potatoes we got. You know, they're not just all one kind of fingerling potato. There's a mixture in the bag that we got. So we knew would be coming out of here would be a nice variety and that's exactly what we got the last fingerling potato from these five take a look at this that is an awesome and varied harvest I'm so excited right now these are gonna be delicious look at these shapes <laughs> all right let's move over to the second bin all right, check this out. This was hidden from me the other day. I saw it and I forgot about it. So we got to bring in these green tomatoes because it's going to get way too cold tonight um, and they won't go anywhere. But if we bring them in and put them in a container, this volunteer tomato, uh, these tomatoes will ripen off. That's awesome. One of the things we're definitely noticing about this variety, and I don't know if it's true of all fingerling potatoes, but they clearly have a tendency to pop up at the surface and to grow at the surface as well. So. I'm going to suggest, and this is simply based on our experience, that uh, if you're growing these fingerling potatoes, you want to make sure you give it a nice mulch as the time progresses because you don't want to waste these potatoes. All right. So one of the things that I would suggest in planting these is that the reason we're seeing these really nice potatoes is because we did a lot better job of these deep waterings and feeding the plants. We fed them uh, after they flowered, we fed them bone meal and general fertilizer and we made sure that we did a much better job this time around than we did uh, in taking care of our potatoes in our containers earlier in the season. So lesson learned and clearly a huge benefit to that lesson learned. These look so good. All right, I'm gonna to try to get down in here. The soil is a little bit cold right now because we've been, uh, we've been having nighttime temperatures in the 30s. Over the last two weeks, it's, it's fluctuated quite a bit. And so we've had our blankets out here trying to cover everything up to keep any uh, any damage to the potatoes themselves. Potatoes can handle some frost, definitely, and some cooler temperatures. They will slow down, they will stop developing. There's no need to let, even if they can handle it, there's no need to let the tops get hit by a frost if you can handle it, so, or if you can help it. 
So we've been trying our best to, again, bring our blankets out. And I think this plant has really escaped any damage. In fact, I think the potatoes bear that out. All right, we have cleared out both of these bins and look at the results. These potatoes are magnificent. This damage is my fault. I scraped that one. There is no animal damage. There's no insect damage. These just look absolutely wonderful. All right, the big reveal. How many pounds did we get from one pound of fingerling potatoes and then what's our return on investment? Let's let the scale settle. Give me the amount. Oh wow. 7.87, 7.88 pounds, almost eight pounds. In our area, that's about $40 worth of organic fingerling potatoes for 99 cents. Now this is just my opinion. But for 99 cents, I would say this is a really good return on investment. And in terms of fingerling potatoes, well, maybe Andre the Giant's fingers, I don't know. These are a great size, many varieties. We're gonna enjoy these thoroughly. And again, this is a lesson learned from earlier in the season. Part of the joy of gardening is figuring out what you don't know and then learning about it and then seeing this kind of result. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give us a like, leave us a comment, let us know. Let us know if you've ever tried growing fingerling potatoes before and how they turned out. Don't forget to share and subscribe. And most importantly, when you're with us, you are good to grow.